Have you ever considered that you're insistent on being mean as two? <laughs> Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Love is Strange, Victoria's Route. And in the last episode, we were taking selfies for the girlfriend. Things were getting very serious with the girlfriend. She's totally feeling us, you know what I mean? So this is getting a little exciting. Now let's continue. By the time it's morning, I'm so exhausted that the light of the sun just seems to blind me instead of, instead of nice and warm. It's probably because I spent all the time awake last night. Mmm, Max, what were you thinking about? Texting Victoria when I could have been getting some much needed sleep instead. It's totally too late to take it all back now in exchange for another hour of sleep. Uh, and really, it's not like I want to either. Mmm. She, she doesn't want the sleep, she wants that V. <laughs> Sadly, that still can't take away the fact that I'm sleepy. Victoria texted me again in the morning too, telling me she's, she'd meet up with me in an hour or so, or so, so we could get g going. I glanced down back at our conversation from the, this morning with a little quirk in my lips. Meet me at the courtyard in an hour. I swear to God, if you sleep in, I'll come and drag your ass out of bed myself. Good morning to you too, Victoria. I'll be there. Victoria hasn't shown up yet, but I know she will. At this point, it's better to trust her. At the same time, I can't help but feel pr pretty... I can't help but feel pretty self-conscious standing out in the courtyard while wearing a new outfit. It's way different trying it on than trying it out in public with everyone around. But at the same time, it's cool. I've gotten a few compliments so far. Even Brooke, with her abrasive tendencies, had stopped to look at me and say, different in a surprisingly good way. Brooke is so mean to Max because, you know, Brooke has a crush on Warren, so, oh dear. This is close as I'll ever come to have her really complimenting me instead of eyeballing me viciously the whole time. Jesus. And don't even get me started on Dana. How could I think that I could ever escape her clutches? Halfway down the hall, she dragged me into one of the bear into one to a bear hug, making it totally hard to breathe while I squished up. That girl has got a grip. I like Dana too. She's one of my favorite characters, um, aside from like the main girls of the story. I really wish they like wrote her more in the story. That's kind of like my opinion though. I fix my mused up hair a bit, shifting on my feet. My attention goes back to my cell phone and I tuck it back in my pocket before I can get it out fix before I can get too fixated on the time. Victoria is still not here yet, and I don't want to get too hung up on her waiting for her. When she comes, she'll, she'll come. Plus, it's not like as if I'm late. I'm kind of just early. I'm more anxious about this conference than previously thought, so even while I'm exhausted, I've been kind of just mealing around in the courtyard, snapping pictures of squirrels and anything that catches my attention. Not that doing, not that doing so did any, anything to ease my nerves. It's easy to forget about the new nerve-wracking the conference actually is when I caught up in it, everything else. Everything else being a codename for getting along suspiciously well with Victoria Chase. Ooh, girlfriend is here. <laughs> nice to see you followed my advice. Victoria's voice comes suddenly from behind me, and I whirl around to face her. She's... wow, she looks so as stylish as ever, maybe even more so than usual. At feet, I didn't think it was possible. Max is totally in love, guys. Oh my god. I can tell that she put a lot of effort into- Oh my god! She's so- She's- bleh. Sorry, this is get, I'm getting excited. I can tell that she put a lot of effort into looking her best for our project. Or for you, Max. I didn't expect any less of her. Did you expect me not to? I wouldn't have been surprised if you bailed on me or decided to show up in your usual rags and said- I can feel Victoria's eyes on me for a whole 30 seconds, then she's barreling ahead of- Barreling ahead, leading the way. Naturally, I follow. Is that your way of saying I look nice? Victoria looks over her shoulder at me, catching me a, the smile I throw at her. Almost too quickly, she looks ahead again. I already told you that earlier. Don't tell me your memory is running dry, too. Definitely not. I couldn't forget if I wanted to. I thought it'd be cool to hear it again. Wonder if you still thought... I thought it'd be cool if, uh, you know, you told me I look good again, Victoria, because, you know, I'm an asshole. No, I just, you know, you know, I wondered if you still thought that way. I was just wondering if you still thought so, maybe. I rub the back of my neck, following her behind with a little smile. Victoria slows down slightly. What? I... You hardly look any different. What did you think my opinion would change after seeing you? Get God damn- Victoria, are you oblivious to Max right now? Ugh. <sighs> I shrug, feel a little dumb into bringing it up. Well, selfies work differently from real life. God, Max, have some confidence for once. It works wonders. Victoria sounded a little distant, saying that. I rub my arm frowning at her back. Sorry. Victoria just waves me off. So we have something we should probably talk about. We do? 
I can practically sense all the telltale, telltale scoff from Victoria at the, my smart res, at my smart response. Only it doesn't ever actually come, huh? Yes, it's important. So we should probably get it over with now. Victoria glances at me. It'd be really dense of me not to notice the serious tone in her. She's suddenly taking on. Before I can think twice, I gulp. If she's not, if she's that serious, I wonder what it is. Is it about the project? What else? I don't know. Maybe you decided it was time to have a heart to heart. I tease, and she rolls up her eye. She rolls her eyes at me. I totally swear I can see the faint smile on her lips, though. It's gone as, just as quick. She's trying to hide it. Yo, come on, the flirting. I was going over the rules again last night. We missed something important. We missed something. Th there's no way. Out of literally anyone, I know that Victoria read the rules from top to bottom when we first caught them. I know because I did too, and I'm not. And if I'm thorough about this, if I'm thorough about this, there's absolutely no way she isn't. Victoria got the. T Victoria's got a tight grip on everything that I can't imagine she missed something. Like, I don't remember anything sticking out that seems like a huge problem. Victoria heaves a huge sigh and pinches the bridge of her nose. The rules, Max. Remember the rules. The rules? Isn't it about a co cooperation bond between two people and that all that stuff? I had a feeling I'm not getting it because Victoria looks about ready to see something again. And, uh, then we have to submit a photo? I pause as soon as the words roll off my tongue. Realizing what that means, in context of the problematic approach, the rules aren't that you- that the rules aren't that unusual, it's just... Oh, one photo. I can hear Victoria inhale slowly and one- and I wonder if the implication is hitting Victoria as hard as it's hitting me right now. What am I saying? Of course it is! She must have spent all last night thinking about it, otherwise we wouldn't be having this conversation. That doesn't ease my clench in my chest. It kind of worsens it. One photo to submit, two photographers. Victoria slows down. Eventually coming to a full stop. I'm glad I'm glad for it because I'm take I'm talking about this while wa walking, it doesn't really sound like the best idea. Exactly. I was wondering what you think we should do about that. Victoria runs her fingers through her bangs, a little crease between her brow. Her lips are slanted downward, and I've never seen her look so troubled. Anger angry, yes. Troubled, no. It's reassuring that she's freaking out about it as much as me. Oh, so Victoria's like starting to care about Max because they're both photographers, so she's just like, you know, I don't I don't want to be a bitch and like only submit my photo. Maybe Max could submit hers too. Oh my god. Okay, do we have to worry about this now? What do you think we should do? Okay, let's ask the girlfriend what she wants to do. I honestly I don't know. What do you think we should do? Victoria makes a face at me, frowning furring her brows and clicking her tongue. I didn't ask you so you could turn the question around on me. Weakly, I shrug and lean back on my heels. So you don't know either? Christ, luckily for the both of us, I have an idea. The obvious solution would be to pick the best photo out of the bunch. Between both of us, of course. The way Victoria says it, it sounds like a competition or something. Which is probably the exact opposite of what Dog wants us to do. Of course Victoria could manage to make this even sound like a competition between us. I scratch up my nose and, and Victoria frowns at me. I know that look. Spit it out. That Doesn't that sound a little co too competitive for, you know, what this is contest is supposed to be about? Victoria, for what it's worth, manages to seem to caught off guard at the question. She sobers up quickly enough scoffing. <laughs> Max, it's not like we're going to be working together. There's a difference between us competing and us choosing the best photo for us. It's probably be your it'll probably be yours. I blurt out without fully thinking it, and as soon as I do, I shut my eyes and hold back a groan. Nice one, Max. Way to throw your insecurities out there. I don't hear Victoria saying anything at first. That's not true. As shocking as this might seem, I'm working with you for a reason. Victoria shifts on her feet and I notice that she's not meeting my eyes. It's a little jarring. She likes you. She likes you. <laughs> she almost looks uncomfortable. You have talent, so own the fuck up to it, Max. Oh, um... I probably sound like an idiot because I can't find the words to express how her words make me feel. I settle on expressing my gratitude instead. It's only a thing I can think to get right. Thanks, Victoria. My words come a little breathy with that what's leaving me tied tongue instead of the fact that she's praising me at all. It's that she's treating me like an equal instead of shutting me down. That she's actually acknowledging the fact that I have some sort of talent. I have no clue if she knows how much that means to me. Probably not because not even I had a clue how much that meant to me until she said it. Mm-hmm. We should get going. 
Victoria jerks her head to the direction of the parking lot, gesturing vaguely towards it. She takes a step forward, pausing only briefly to make sure I'm following. This time, we're walking in sync with each other. Oh my god! Victoria has faith in me. Or in my talent, at least. I love to think it's the former. Woo! Alright, okay, here we go, back at the boardwalk. We make it to the boardwalk, it's almost no time at all. Thanks to Victoria's nice car and the lack of traffic early this morning. Not that the traffic is very much an issue in Arcadia Bay anyways, but it's not exactly the point. Despite the near stillness of the streets, there are still quite a few people here, making the boardwalk look very, just very lively enough for a shoot, I hope, for Victoria's sake and mine. I actually can't tell much. I actually can't tell too much, and that worries me. Maybe I should have planned ahead? I didn't exactly think we'd be out here so early, so maybe I've been too relent on the hustle and bustle of the boardwalk to get our shoot going. I guess it couldn't help, considering Victoria was really insistent on meeting up early. I wonder how she had much energy, even after we spent all that time texting each other last night. I know I'm still kind of exhausted. Despite that, the actress is crawling down my back, making me bounce my leg a little, and I clutch up my camera bag, ready to get out there and scope out the area. Victoria glances over at me, unbuckling the seatbelt. Christ, you look like you're ready to run a mile a minute. Just ready to get out there and snap some photos. I shrug weakly and try and, and I'm trying and I'm not exactly lying. I just don't feel the need to tell her that I'm worried about her liking the spot I pick, considering the lack of subjects. Not what I planned at all. Aren't you? Victoria scoffs at me, threading her fingers through her hair and shaking her head at me. Me? Please, I'm more than ready. Don't I look the part? You look fabulous. Victoria, you look always- you always look good. What are you talking about? I scrap this time, and when Victoria shoots me a look, I shoot her a little smile in return. What? Are you expecting me to tell you how amazing you look? Because I didn't know my opinion mattered that much. Ugh, dream on. I just wanted to see if you could state the obvious. <laughs> Ouch, I'm hurt. Aw, oh, sad face, poor little hipster. Victoria throws me a smirk. Oh my god, they're so flirting with each other. Holy shit. It only lasts a moment before she sobers up completely, her gaze going inquisitive. Enough about that. We actually have we have actual real important matters to discuss about you in particular. M about me? Yeah, you. Victoria gives me once over again, and honestly, it doesn't help my nerves at the least. You're nervous. Oh, um, I rub the back of my neck, shrugging my shoulders weakly again. I should have known Victoria could catch on. She's not exactly stupid. Not that I ha not that I make it hard anyways. With the frequency my leg is bouncing, I can't help it. I'm just full of energy to burn. A little. She sighs loudly, opening the car door. Before she steps out, she gestures vaguely to the my camera bag and then to me. Please, you shouldn't be. That artistic vision put that artistic vision to work, Max. I know you can. She slides out of the car and I force a little smile of and I force a little smile at the encouragement. I know, I know, I guess you're right. I push open the door, fumbling my bag instead of before I actually manage to get out. You guess I am. In any case, shouldn't I be the one freaking out? Victoria places her hand on her hip, raising her brow at me. I raise a brow in return, waiting for her explanation. Since I let you drag me here in the first place. Oh, of course she tried to pull something like that. All, all I do is grin. You let me? I'm pretty sure I didn't drag you here. You let me pick, you know? What happened to giving my amateur tastes a chance, huh? I watched Victoria try to swallow back a smile, and it totally reaches her lips anyway. Technicalities, Max. And, as she, and, as, and there she goes, waving her hand at me dismissively, her eyes scanning the boardwalk like she's looking for something in particular. I don't know if she's finding it, because I follow her lead and my gaze lands on a few people milling up and down the boardwalk. I recognize some students as... I recognize as students from Blackwell, mostly which I don't really talk to. Other are locals, just most of them, most of which are fishermen. Today, it's... Victoria doesn't immediately come up with anything to say, and that's worrying in itself. I scan her face, catching a little crease in her brow. You think there'd be a lot more people here. It's just, it's just right for a shoot. It's a little boring here. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay, if I'm being completely serious, because Victoria wanted people, because she, she's good at, like, um, taking photographs of people. And I think she expected a lot of people here at the boardwalk, because since we came early in the morning, there's no one there. So, let's say it's a little boring here now. Is that the wrong thing to- I don't know. Oh, fuck it. Boring, I know. Wow, real fucking reassuring, Max. Oh, shit. I wince at her irritated tone, and Victoria pinches the- Pinches the bridge of her nose. Sorry. No, whatever. This is your pick, so you, I think you have at least a little more faith in yourself. 
And us, for that matter. You don't think we can make something out of this? I do. Victoria clicks her tongue at me disapprovingly. Then act like it, okay? I gotta remember this is not Chloe. This is Victoria Chase. She needs, like, a confident Max. Oh my god, okay. Victoria tones eases up at the end. Smother. And I pick up my shoulders from the slouch I've set them in. Okay. At the very least, Victoria clears fate in us. Helps to ease out some of the tension I'm feeling. We can do this. I know we can do this. It's no time for me to be wallowing, wallowing in whatever stupid self-doubt I have. I won't get anywhere like this. The first thing is to reach out of my camera bag. Though I'm very promptly stopped by Victoria who puts her hand on my arm. Not so fast, Caulfield. I tilt my head at her and I'm wondering what she can actually see the question mark above my head. Mm. Ugh, God. I think she wants to get right into it. She's staring down at me curiously, a slight slant to her lips. What's the problem this time? Uh, wow. I'm kidding, what is it? I just have something I want to ask you. Are you going to ask me to be your girlfriend? Is that what she's going to ask me, Victoria? <laughs> I attracted my hand from my camera bag, and I think th that makes Victoria realize that she's got her hand laid over mine. She pulls away quickly. <laughs> Instead of moving and leaning into the truck of the car, like, like that makes it whatever she's going to say next anything less intimidating. I cross my arms over my chest, waiting patiently. Go for it. I wanted to ask why you care so much about... About you? About about you? Victoria gestures to our surroundings, and then I assume she's talking about the people, or uh, lack in this case. Oh. It's for your benefit. I wanted you to like it. I wanted you to like it, Victoria! Maybe it's because I actually wanted you to, I don't know, like it? Since you let me pick, I didn't want to bring you somewhere that, you know... I try to laugh dumbly, realizing that sounded a lot more ridiculous when I said it out loud. That and Victoria staring at me oddly, eyebrows raised. She crosses her arms, breathing in softly and, rele and releasing it in a slow sigh. You, what, wanted my approval? Wow, geez, that makes it sound so official. Victoria snorts softly. If not that, then what? I just didn't want you to be disappointed. I thought it'd be nice if this made you... I shrug, rubbing the... Ignoring the back of my neck and ignoring the way my mouth feels as dry as sandpaper. Happy? Oh, Victoria's like, what? Oh my god, it, am, 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 am I feeling? It, are these gay feelings I'm feeling right now? <laughs> Victoria straightens at my word and I hear her take a deep breath. Oh. Christ. Max. It's... Victoria has to collect... Victoria has to collect herself and I'm really not in a rush. When she finally does manage something, she heaves an almost annoyed sigh. Uh, it's seriously not that big of a deal. It's not? It's not. Victoria flicks her wrist at me, resting her elbows against the car and standing up straighter. Sure, this place isn't like fucking Seattle or something, I'd know. But people or not, like I said literally a few minutes ago, it's hardly, it hardly matters. Whether or not there are any idiots around to photograph, it's not like you're gonna stop us from making a remarkable image. Huh, yeah, I guess you're right. I avert my gaze from Victoria almost bashfully at the smug smirk she's giving me. Of course I'm right. Just remember, Max, all these people aren't my partner. You are. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I'm silent for a second and I can't help myself. I laugh a little, although I feel my ears heating up and my face flushing red at the way Victoria says that. I can't help that I love the, the way that sounds. Victoria, I'm sorry, but was that pretty tacky, like super cheesy? Victoria blushes a little too. Oh my god, she's blushing! And it makes me grin again, taking control of the situation. What? Fuck off. Oh my god, I'm grateful. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It was nice hearing that. I feel like it's probably better to placate her before she gets even more flustered. Sure, whatever. Victoria scowls at me, her pink cheeks fading. You still suck. <laughs> oh my god, like she's trying to play it off. Like, I don't like you, fam. Oh, but she totally does. Oh my god, Victoria. Yeah, okay, sure, Victoria. I'm totes aware that I probably got the stupidest grin on my face. And then I remember we probably make an effort to start our project now that we've actually completed, completely settled down. I take a few steps back, prompting Victoria to follow me and with a raised brow. So I know it's not, so I know it's no Seattle, but we should probably get started. Victoria hums in agreement at that, and we take time to pace down the boardwalk. Similarly quiet in our search for the perfect shot. Or maybe that's too ambitious at this point? We're trying to find anything to look at. Victoria? Something's been bugging me ever since she brought it up earlier, or maybe it shouldn't, but... When she mentioned it, Seattle, I couldn't help. What? 
Victoria responds in the cr- and I frown at the sound. I don't exactly respond quickly, prompting her to turn on me. She pauses and sighs, speaking easier. I can tell she's tense, despite all the talk from earlier. Sorry, what is it? I was wondering about Seattle. You came from there, right? Doris seems to be taken completely off guard at the question. She shrugs after a moment. Yeah, what about it? I thought of Seattle making me feel un- unsure, an awkward discomfort settling in the pit of my stomach. So in actuality, I'm not sure what I'm actually asking about. Just, I want to know something about it. I just, well, do you think it's any better than Arcadia Bay? You're just full of loaded questions today. Victoria speaks cautiously, and then she purses her lips. I do. I guess it's hopelessly plain here. At the thought of the comparison, I hum almost abs- absentmindedly. All I can do is scratch the strap of my bag. Ever since I moved here, I haven't really thought about it much. Probably for the best, I think. It's not like I'm, I've left much behind. I only really had Fernando and Kristen to keep me company. And amazing friends as they had been, coming back to Chloe was had far outweighed that. Yes! Price field the ship. Oh my god. I always feel like an asshole for thinking like that. You're right, there's way more to look at over there. And you know that how? It takes me a second to process Victoria's question, then I stop and turn to my face. My eyes widen. Wait, do you think I've lived here my whole life? What? Victoria stops for a second. I watch her sp- sp- sputter haplessly. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Are you telling me you haven't? I grin wearily at her. Sorry to disappoint, but no. Oh. It's actually pleasant to hear Victoria so stunned for once, like she's totally at loss with her this information. Or maybe not knowing it. As great as it is to have her speechless, I decided to help her out. Uh, yeah, I, um, I used to live up in Seattle until I came back here. Came back? For Blackwell, I'm assuming? At that, I can't help it. My smile drops a little, and I run my thumb anxiously down my strap of my bag. She's right, of course, and she totally knows it. It wouldn't bother me so much if it didn't make me remember the gr- all the grief I caused Chloe. Uh, the feels. Kind of. There was also Chloe. Right, Chloe. She's like that bitch. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my god. Victoria grins out as sarcastically as she can, and it actually makes me wince slightly. She seems to catch on my reaction, though, and surprisingly, I'd watch her sigh and soften up. Please don't even. Are you seriously telling me you came back for Chloe? Maybe? Blackwell's a big deal, Max, and old best friend isn't. No. Victoria's wrong about that. Even if I did initially come back because I heard about Blackwell, that doesn't mean. That's not true. Victoria tenses up suddenly and places her hand over her arm. Something about the gesture is off and that my irritation is replaced with confusion. Chill, that's not what I meant. What I meant for fuck's sakes, Max. It's not a crime for you to put your own aspirations first. People talk so much shit about being selfish, but it doesn't mean you're not allowed to be. Victoria speaks quickly, although her voice is low and gentle. Like she's trying to get all into my skull. I slowly dry- I swallow dryly. I guess so. But at the same time, I can't help feel a little bad. You know. Victoria pursed her lips at me, sliding her hand down, uh, down my arm. She's touching me again! <laughs> Apparently not by much. Though I understand why you're trying to get at. You're insistent on being so... So kind is fucking nauseating, Max. Well... Have you ever considered that you're insistent on being mean as too? <laughs> Ooh, shit! Shots fired! I... I tease, but something deeply serious about it. Victoria watches me and then snaps her jaw shut like she's got not, not like she's got nothing to say. For a second. Maybe we both have things to learn. You think? Maybe, but right now I'd rather focus on this. Victoria changes the subject so quickly that I can't even be sure she said it. Not that it matters, not not when I only not when I already know about it. I smile, scratching the back of my neck. You're right, but I was thinking Victoria groans as melodramatic as ever, wrinkling her nose at me. Something you've been doing too much of today, apparently. Quit it, I'm being serious! Mostly my stomach growls dangerously, and Victoria freezes for a second. She catches my gaze and I bless a- I'm, and I blush a bit. Oh, are you- she quips- she quips sarcastically as I offer her a sheepish grin. We might be better off on a full stomach. God, you're a mess. The words come out a little sigh, and I almost sound fonder than they should be. Without any more complaining, she waves her hand at me. Your choice, Max. After we got something to eat, I ended up being able to convince Victoria to loosen up a bit and check out the shops with me. I thought it'd be better off that way, since we obviously weren't finding anything before. And since we did, we spent 
so much time window shopping and browsing than before we knew it. The sun and the high sky on the wooden planks are filled with the ped pedestrians. At least as much as it will be. The plus of all of this is that Victoria seems a lot more easy now. Victoria walking ahead of me and I've got my camera in my hands. It usually feels heavier than I'm when I'm burdened by the thought of the assignment, but right now it feels light. I'm not ready to focus on anything particular as I as I look through my viewfinder. I'm just I'm just imagining photos as they could, testing the lighting. And then Victoria rolls around to face me, mouth open and her hand on her hip. Where exactly do you want to go next? And I press Oh, she did a picture of her! And I press my fingers down on the shutter. The reaction is so instinctive and me so immediate that I don't even realize I'm taking a picture until I'm faced with Victoria wide eyes through my viewfinder. Did you just lower in my camera, I bet my lip and take a take the photo from my camera, waving it once twice. When I check it, I grin at the shot. Victoria, mid-speech, standing amongst a few pedestrians in the Arcadia Bay. What I love most about the fluidity of the shot. Oh, dang! She looks so good! Look at her! Holy shit! Victoria's perfect posture amongst the stream of people. You look good. Victoria strains and pulls out her camera with ease. She rolls her eyes with my expression, probably, and points it in the right, right at me. I hardly have any time to adjust, standing with the photo, with the photo in my camera. Smile, Caulfield. I already am. Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, okay, this is, this is getting so... Man, Ch Chase Field. Oh my gosh. At Blackwell, me and Victoria wind up sitting in the freshly cut grass at the courtyard, going through all of our photographs. My Polaroid photos are spread on the grass in front of our legs, little squares against the green lawn. In contrast, Victoria has, our, has her camera on her lap. Open up on the camera roll. I'm pressed up real close against the side and peer over her shoulder. In retrospect, this feels a little more intimate than it should. Mmm, intimate, huh? Maybe not as maybe not as sitting like this, but just me being here with Victoria in the first place. I'm used to just seeing the Vortex Club agnostically taking up the space whenever they were out of class during the morning or in lunch, all huddled up and laughing at whatever. Of course, Victoria's included in that too. Now instead of her sitting here with them, it's with me. Hello, Max? Are you even listening to me? Uh, huh? Yeah, um... Victoria squints at me suspiciously, putting her finger back down from where it had been prodding at one of my photographs. When I check, it's nothing special, just a general landscape shot of the boardwalk itself. Okay, not convincing. What did I just say? How much you like that one? I tease, and Victoria laughs in disbelief. <laughs> you wish? Oof, oof. So you're saying you don't? Victoria hums instead of giving me a real solid response, and I roll my eyes at her. Okay, so maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I saw him right now. Sure you are, only because I had to jerk you back into reality. She knocks my arm with hers and I huff softly. And I huff softly, mocking a f mock offended. A pout makes me... A pout makes its way to my lips. I am! Mm-hmm. <laughs> After the shoot, Victoria had seemed to... After the shoot, Victoria had seemed more relaxed. Or, like, I guess the atmosphere is just more relaxing in general? I'm definitely not as tense as I was before. Maybe it was the fact that all we had to do left was to choose between our photos. I should have just thought it would be more stressful. It's not. It's not. At least Victoria's doesn't make it stressful. Stress fee or not, I rub my eyes and try to focus. We have to pick something or for a submission. And now Victoria's staring right at me again, real seriousness, with how close we are. All I can do is manage to a sheepish shy. Mm, are they gonna kiss? Are you guys gonna kiss? <laughs> okay, what is it? I want to know, just for reference, which one is your favorite? I blink at the question, not really sure I've heard it right. Victoria puts her camera down between our knees. My favorite? Like, in which one I, I think looks the best? Not exactly, though. That is important. I mean, personal preference. Hmm, that's not really a hard question to answer, not at all. I already know exactly which photos come to mind. It's just a little embarrassing to admit. I lean back on my hands and draw a long breath of air, preparing myself for the inevitable post-answer explanation. Well, it's actually... It takes me a moment to lean forward again, just so I can tap my fingers against the one showcasing Victoria. When she turns to me, ready to speak and highlighted by the pedestrians behind her. That one? There's a hesitant pause in her breath, and I rest my palms against my jeans, rubbing my hands down them. Y yeah, definitely. What about yours? I counter before she can grill me about my choice, not sure what I can handle... Not sure that I can handle that just yet. Victoria straightens her shoulders, stri tensing up. I can feel it right then against my side. She heaves a huge sigh just from that, and I can tell she's not particularly confident about any of them. 
Out of mine? Fucking none. There's not- there's a note of irritation in her voice, backed up with the slightest disappointment. I frowned peering back into the digital camera. None? No way, they're good. they're so good. I- She pauses and hesitates. I know they're good, but they're not amazing or anything. I don't see anything special in them, nothing particularly remarkable. Just then, she deflates a little. She sags down slightly, grimacing down at her camera and turning her head away from me. Victoria? It's whatever. I was thinking, I want you to submit yours instead. My heart freezes up in my chest in the words, and I sit up to get straighter. What? Victoria glances at me, swallowing dryly and running her fingers through her bangs. I watch the, watch the apprehension flash in over her face. What, Max, are you, like, milking this for what it's worth? Defensive as ever, I shake my head quickly. I said you should submit yours. Sorry, I'm just surprised. Oh, and why is that? We talked about this. There's... There's this curiosity in her tone, but it's laced with some myth, something wary. She curls her fingers in her cashmere sweater, and I bite, ins I bite the inside of my cheek. She's nervous, I think. Thought your photos looked amazing, too. Thought we'd look over them longer. Uh, okay, I get what Victoria's trying to do, because she thinks, um... If you guys remember, she's very- she's, um... How do I explain this? She's not confident that her work is good enough. Because um, her parents own a gallery, if you remember, in Life is Strange. So she comes from an art background, and she's kind of expected to be at that level. So I think she's just, like, very cautious of, like, her own work. She's too hard on herself, pretty much, what she's saying. So... I think your pictures look amazing, too, Victoria, goddammit. It's because yours are pretty incredible, too. Victoria scrunches her nose and sniffs. I already told you, they aren't... I raise my hand to cut her off, and she scowls at me. You might not think so, but I think- But don't you think you're being pretty biased? I mean, I don't think the rest of mine are amazing either. That's just- That's just because I looked- I took them. We're our own worst critic, right? Or something like that. That is so true. Every artist is like that. I'm like that with myself, too, with my artwork. It's never good enough. It will never be good enough for me. Even though a lot of people will tell me it is, or whatever. It's still- In my eyes, it's never going to be good enough. So I totally get what Victoria is going through right now. Victoria shuts her mouth and then ends up grumbling, nudging me back, and I flash it, and I flash at her a self-satisfied smile. Okay, all right. Ugh, you have a point. Regardless, I still think you should submit yours. There's no hesitation in her voice as she tells me this. Not at all. It's still really sinking in that even after all of this, she presents to tell she protect she prepares to let me take the take the reins. Okay, if you really think I should, then I will. I agree quietly, and that's when I feel it. The way Victoria loosens up, muscles almost melting again against me at my affirmation out of her demand. I gently bump at her shoulder with mine, letting her know that I'm here. <gasps> I wouldn't say no. Good. If we don't win, I'm skinning you alive. I, a laugh bubbles out of my throat and Victoria joins me. Wow, okay, aggressive much? Only a little. Do you think I'm joking? I roll my eyes. I reach... I reach over to take up the photo from my hands and running my thumbs over it. The sun feels so warm, the grass so soft, and Victoria has a better heater than her ice-cold demeanor would usually suggest. I let myself sink against her side. She doesn't move away from me, not even an inch. All she do, all she does is hum. <gasps> They're touching each other, oh my god. I don't know, Victoria. I think you're warming up to me. It's quiet for a few beats, and I wonder the lack of response of other than thinly veiled insult or snappy remark. You'd like that, wouldn't you? She finally counters, challenging me. When I respond, I don't even have to think about it. Maybe I would. <sighs> okay, wow. Okay, it's totally, totally getting... Please tell me they're gonna kiss. Anyway, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Love is Strange with Victoria and Chase Field. And oh my god, I'm freaking out because this is so it's so good and they're touching each other. Not in like a very sexual way, but you know what I mean? It's just very just like... Anyway, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode of Love is Strange, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And let me, and let me know what you guys think about Victoria's roots so far. Because it's so good. I love it so much. Ugh. God, Chasefield. That ship. I'm just sailing on that ship right now. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!